In earlier videos, we lined up soccer players from the lightest to the heaviest and pretended they were like different atoms. With each player number like an atomic number and each player mass like an atomic mass. Now let's change from a soccer team to an atom team. In 1865, English scientist John Newlands listed the elements from lightest to heaviest along with their place numbers. And he also claimed that this revealed a repeating pattern in the elements. This is how the other scientists reacted. <laughs> <laughs> but he was onto something. Listing atoms by their masses was about to reveal their secrets. But how could scientists make a tiny enough scale to measure the masses of atoms, which are incredibly light? A single lithium atom weighs about a 10 trillion trillionth of a kilogram. That's 24 zeros after the decimal point. Kilograms are way too big to conveniently measure atoms. Scientists needed a new, tiny scale. In 1803, another English scientist, John Dalton, was the first to create a mass scale especially for atoms. To keep it simple, he didn't want any fractions less than one, which would have been a pain in the elbow. By giving an atomic mass of one to the lightest atom, all the other atoms were automatically made bigger than one. What's the lightest kind of atom? Hydrogen. So its mass was made equal to one. But one what? This new scale needed a new unit, and scientists called it the Unified Atomic Mass Unit, shortened to AMU, then further to just U. They also gave it a second name, the Dalton, shortened to DA. This means that the mass of one hydrogen atom is one U or one Dalton. Your choice. But I like you, so we'll stick with that here. We use this mass scale to weigh the soccer players in kilograms, but it's way too clunky to weigh atoms and Dalton used a different method which you can check out in a video linked in the description. But we'll pretend that this scale can measure atoms in U. Let's do it. You can see that lithium is now 6.9 U. Before we said it was a 10 trillion trillionth of a kilogram. Does that mean its mass has changed with this new scale? No. 6.9 U is the same as a 10 trillion trillionth of a kilogram. The same mass is just being measured in different units. Just like you get different numbers if you weigh yourself in kilograms or pounds. We can now line up the atoms in order of their masses and put their place positions in too. Which will take first place and which will take last place. Hi, 
Hydrogen is first, obviously, and sodium is last here. Now we have two rows of numbers, each atom's mass on the bottom and place number on the top. You know an atom's place number is called its atomic number and its actual mass is called its atomic mass, not surprisingly. This reminds us of the player number and player mass of our soccer team. Notice that atomic numbers are consecutive whole numbers, like the player numbers. Whereas atomic masses have decimal places, like the player masses. Also, atomic numbers increase smoothly from one to the next. Whereas the atomic masses increase unevenly. For example, hydrogen to helium jumps from 1.0 to 4.0, a gap of 3U. Helium to lithium from 4.0 to 6.9, a gap of 2.9. Lithium to beryllium, 6.9 to 9.0, a gap of 2.1, and so on. We'll find out why that happens later. In the next video, we'll show how scientists tweet the definition of atomic mass by comparing atoms' masses to carbon instead of hydrogen. And also how scientists killed the unit U in order to create relative atomic mass. It's a neat trick.